Greta knew that Walter couldn't eat peanuts. He was deathly allergic to them. His parents had discovered this one day when he popped a peanut into his ever-exploring mouth at the age of two. He was rushed to the hospital and from that day forward was never again given a peanut or anything containing peanuts. In 1955, he met and married Greta Musselman, the love of his life, with whom he sired and helped raise five children without peanuts. children would secretly discover that they did not share their father's burden. One by one, they would go on to lead full and happy peanut-eating lives. So it was a shock to hear of their father's sudden death. disturbing that it had been caused by the ingestion of not one, but upwards of the equivalent of 35 peanuts. That had been sprinkled onto Walter's morning oatmeal. Greta insisted it wasn't she who had ground and sprinkled the peanuts, and her children could find no reason to suspect that their father's mate of some 50 years would have cause for murder. Greta passed away like so many forlorn mates of deceased loved ones. The mystery of Walter's death continued to haunt the children until Eric, the oldest son, discovered a secret cache of peanuts in his father's workshop, along with a sealed envelope that read, Upon my death. Eric was shocked to read the words of the letter within and decided that none of his siblings should ever know their father's final thoughts about life, about the miserable years he spent in a loveless marriage, his hatred of his wife, and how the irresistible urge to try the forbidden legume was more appealing than continuing to put up with Greta. shortly thereafter became depressed and went on medication.
no one could understand why.